Hi everyone, it's David Vaucher here, back again with the third video installment of uh, my video series chronicling my efforts to apply Google Glass technology uh, to oil and gas applications. Now in my first video, uh, which I posted uh, a few weeks ago, I demonstrated some very, some very basic functionality and some uh, basic information that an engineer could access using Google Glass when out in the field. I wasn't really satisfied though because uh, that content was actually quite difficult to create in the sense that I had to understand code and go into the code in order to push that content to the device. So what I wanted to do was start on a project that would not only allow engineers to centralize all of their data in one common place, but that also serve as a platform to then push content to Google Glass. And so from there the digital tally book was born. The second video I made was uh, a demonstration of a very early prototype of that digital tally book. And since then, I've uh, met up with and teamed up with two really excellent technical professionals who, uh, who share my vision for what this digital tally book should be. And they've been really helpful in, uh, in getting going and really moving this project uh, farther along. Now before I actually uh, show you more of the digital tally book and its functionality with Google Glass, I just wanted to show you what a regular tally book looks like. So if you're not familiar with field operations, a tally book is basically a rectangular format uh, book in which a uh, field engineer basically does two things. Uh, first is write down important data prior to the job starting. So think things like a tool checklist or perhaps um, a job procedure that they can refer to while the job is ongoing. But they'll also use tally books to jot down notes uh, so that they can then make their post job reports when the job is finished. Now I never really like these tally books. They're very uh, clunky actually to use. So if you can see they're they're quite tightly bound and so when you when you write on them you have to hold them open otherwise they close up. It's very hard to get all over to the margins so you end up having sort of half filled pages. And the the problem is, is that when you actually look at getting a job ready, you're collecting data from uh, really a bunch of different places. So you might have a printout uh, of your um, directions to get to the job. You might have a printout of the procedure that you then have to hand write into the tally book. So the whole process is, is really very cumbersome and all the, the different information sources are quite disparate. So I wanted to solve that actually with this digital tally book application. So if I can just uh, get it going here. So basically the digital tally book is um, a start to finish um, it's an app that basically takes an engineer from the start to the finish of a job. So they can have uh, a place to input the well conditions and job objectives. They can get directions to the well site. So this actually has Google Maps plugged into it. So you can see your directions uh, here from the app. You can input job procedures. You can input a job safety assessment. You can put your uh, tool checklist and settings. There's also a job ticket or there will be a job ticket functionality. So uh, this can be taken to the company man. They can sign it directly on the app and that will get sent uh, back to the service company or to the operator for direct payment. The job report can also be created from this tablet app and then eventually there will also be um, an incident reporting function. So the idea is that if a tool were to fail in location, you could just take a picture of it directly from the tablet. You could write up a, a sort of a summary of what happened and then you could email it and assign it directly from the field. So the idea is to really accelerate the workflows. Now before I go ahead, I do want to mention just uh, to be completely transparent that uh, some of the functionality isn't um, technically built in, but everything I show you is completely possible to do. So if this is something that you want to adapt for yourselves, um, myself and the technical professionals I'm teaming with can, can certainly handle it and just plug in the full technical functionality. We're just um, presenting this a little bit early so we can get our, uh, our stake in the ground, show it to everyone, but uh, it can be built out very easily if that, was, uh, if that was requested. And certainly in the meantime, we're going to work in actually building some of that true functionality in. So with that being said, what I want to show you, um, I want to walk you through one example, which is the job procedure. Now this actually comes uh, preloaded, I've preloaded one uh, for a tool called the Casing Annulus Packer. But in the final version, uh, a neat feature that we'd like to implement is that obviously every company has different uh, procedures. So the idea is that you would hit a drop down menu and you'd select from a list of templates. Uh, once selected, the template would pre-populate in this uh, text field here. And you can then of course modify it however you wanted to, uh, to account for different temperatures, pressures, that type of thing. But the idea is that you're building that procedure in the tablet rather than again having to make it on a computer then print it out uh, onto, uh, onto a set of loose leaf paper basically. So once this procedure has been built, you can do several things with it, right? You can either share it, and that's primarily going to be through email, 
or even more exciting, this is really where we think um, we've really made some great strides in exploring this functionality because we don't know of any industry or any demonstration that actually shows this. But what I've included here is a scent to glass button. So what I'm gonna do is hit scent to glass. And you imagine here that the engineer is not going to carry a tablet onto the rig site, but they do have Google Glass. And this allows them to refer, if this content were to be sent to glass, they could refer to it in a hands-free way on the rig floor or at the wellhead. And that's what we've worked in here. So what I'm, what I'm going to do in order to show you um, how this actually works is I'm going to utilize uh, a really neat feature which is called uh, the screencast. And so what I'm going to do is hit the home button, go to my glass, And then I'm going to screencast. And here it is. So you can see now the procedure was created on the tablet. It was then sent to the Glass device and it can now be referred to. Now Google Glass usually has a, um, you have to tap to get things to move. But in this particular case, and I apologize, the, the voice sensitivity is, uh, is quite high. But the idea is that we've now sent it to Glass and in a completely hands-free way, watch what I'm going to do. Next. So I've started the procedure. Next. So I'm moving through it in a completely hands-free way. Next. Now say before I start, I want to see some, uh, some extra information. Back. Detail. And now I've actually pulled up the pump chart. So before I've even started, I can actually pull up more information and see what this is supposed to look like before I proceed. And again, I've got the glass device in front of my eyes and I'm looking at this in a completely hands-free way. So I'm gonna keep going through this. Next, I wanna to return to the procedure. Next, 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 next. 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 So I'm done now. You can imagine as I'm going through these steps, again, completely hands-free, I am um, I'm, I'm able to actually refer back to this. Now, the job is complete. So once that job is complete, it basically uh, is then stored. The idea in the final version is that you'll be able to say, okay, send it to the tablet again. So. What we've done so far is we have uh, created, again, the procedure completely on the tablet. We then sent it to the glass device and it's now stored on the glass device. So the device has been logging every time that we've been taking these actions. So what if I want to create a job report? So I hit job report and there it is. So the idea is that we have completely closed the loop here. There's no paper, there's no laptop to use. The content is all created on the device or on glass actually as things are happening. So it's a little bit hard to see, but basically the idea is that every time you click through one of those steps, glass would log the time where this has taken place. So you're actually building uh, a complete chronological listing of everything that's happened. In the final version, you'd be able to say something like insert line item and it would then uh, insert a custom item. So if you wanted to record a pressure, you would say, you know, uh, record line item 1500 PSI at the pump and that would be inserted at whatever time it was. So you're actually building your job procedure through the Google Glass device, syncing back up with the tablet to, um, to, to create that job report. The final uh, feature is that you can take this job report and then just email it directly from the tablet. So again, it's a completely closed loop. Uh, everything is self-contained. There's no issue of content creation on the Glass device anymore because it's being handled on this application, which can be used as a standalone application. So if you um, just want to make life easier for yourself, you can just have, or you will be able to just have the tablet app. It then has the uh, digital hooks, I guess you could call them, for the Google Glass device if you then want to take what's on the tablet onto the rig floor and then send it back uh, to the tablet device. So we're really excited to present this. Uh, we really do feel like this is a big step forward um, just to, for efficiency and field engineering opposition, uh, operations, but it's also just a big step forward uh, in terms of showcasing just how 
uh, Google Glass technology is really um, amplified and made better when it's used in conjunction uh, with a device. So it's really about understanding the strength of each. So a tablet, the strength is that it's easy to create content, it's easy to visualize content, but then the strength of glass is that it's obviously hands-free and can be referred to very quickly. So the more people understand kind of the differences in each and the interplay between them, as I think uh, myself and my team do, uh, the more you really start to see the power of the applications. So that being said, um, I'd be really excited to hear your comments on how, how we've progressed and maybe some of the features that you think would be great to include. Um, you can reach me either at my website, which is www.davidvoshe.com, or you can send me an email at uh, buildinghydrocarbonbonds at gmail.com. I uh, certainly love to hear your comments. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear those too. And uh, if you'd like to explore how this can be adapted to your company specifically, uh, my team and I would love to sit down and, uh, and get your input also. So that being said, uh, very excited to show you this video and uh, even more excited to get going on more progress and, uh, and showcase that to you in the next video in the next couple weeks. Thanks so much.